The ninth best performer year to date is SVB Financial. Don't yawn. This company's a merchant bank with a deposit base that Wall Street had been stakely concerned about. It's the old Silicon Valley Bank. Recently bought one of our favorite research firms, Buffett Nathanson, and it's become less dependent upon private equity and venture capitalist offerings. Wait a second. Those dried up last year, they could come back. Yes, some of them come back here with the stock directly affects an oversold position. Stock was the fourth worst performer in 2022. I think the fears were not justified, and it's a very compelling situation. Hey, by the way, long-term private equity and venture capital, they're not going away. Being the banker to these invest, immense pools of capital has always been a very good business. The stock's still cheap. Let's start with Signature Bank. This is a New York-based commercial bank, but it's got uh, 36 private client offices sprinkled across the New York metro area, California, and North Carolina. The thing about Signature is that it's a business-oriented bank, and to the extent that they have a consumer business, it's focused on the wealthy, namely business owners and senior executives who do a lot of business, and you can make a lot of money working with them. SVB is great. If that guy ever endorses anything you're doing... Move to the Canary Islands. Change your name, because disaster is coming. Last year, $9.5 billion, now less than $1 billion. Okay, let me say this about this. I made a mistake here. I was wrong. I trusted this management team. That was ill-advised. Hubris here is extraordinary. And I apologize. Okay. Um... What did you get wrong? I had a a belief that there was a recognition that there is a amount that you can't spend. I had thought there would be an understanding that you just can't spend and spend right through your free cash flow. Uh, That there had to be some level of discipline. What did I get wrong? I, I trusted them, not myself. For that I regret. Okay. I've been in this business for 40 years, and I did a bad job. I'm Look, not proud. You're not, not alone. Proud. You're not alone, Jim. With the new Omicron variant sweeping the globe, how do we finally put an end to this pandemic? How do we save lives and get business back to normal so everybody can put dinner on the table? Simple. The federal government needs to require vaccines, including booster shots, for everyone in America. Some of us are old enough to remember when we were told we had to get a needle stuck into our arms because of some disease that was so scary we didn't even, we were afraid to talk about it. The disease was called polio. Back then, anyone who refused to get vaccinated would get ratted out immediately because we knew that person could hurt other people. The common wheel was a, a common wheel. Now we're engaged in a similar struggle with COVID and Eisenhower would be aghast. We have immunocompromised people who are incubators for every variant to come walking around lawfully unvaccinated? That's psychotic. We have governors who want to be president by grandstanding on a foolish state's right issue, the right to get sick and get other people sick. So it's time to admit that we have to go to war against COVID. Require vaccination universally. Have the military run it. If you don't want to get vaccinated, you better be ready to prove your conscientious objector status in court. And even then, you need to help in the war effort by staying home until we finally beat this thing. Until the federal government gets serious and starts requiring vaccinations nationwide, you better get used to more COVID variant freakouts like we had last Friday. And I got attacked last night pretty heavily because I said people should be vaccinated. Not unlike when I got the polio jab, okay? Which, by the way, I didn't want polio and I didn't want to give anybody polio. Whatever, we didn't even know what polio was, but we didn't want to get it. And I am getting crucified because I said I thought that what General Eisenhower did was right, which is make us vaccinated. How is this wrong, Dr. Tobel? How was that wrong? 